What's up, YouTube? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. Or, oh, um, you guys, if you like my shirt in the thumbnail, I, it's an ER forum shirt. I don't know if it's backwards on here or not, but it's an ER forum shirt. I got it from a YouTuber on here who um, I watched him back when he was a nursing student. He is now a registered nurse. Uh, he works in the ER. But yeah, he sells these pretty cool t-shirts and he has a cool YouTube as well. Uh, go ahead and check him out. Kanan Brown. He has a lot of good information on there. Uh, for pre-nursing and nursing students. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video today about AMP. Uh, I know personally in everyday life, I talk to a lot of people about it um, and as well as on my social medias. Um, there's a lot of people that hit me up and ask about tips on AMP. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make a video. But basically, I just wanted to run off a few things that helped me to ace AMP. Um, so let's jump into it. First, I would the probably the greatest tip I can give you guys is to go into class knowing what's going on. And by that, I mean, um, know the terms that you're going to be covering in the chapters that you're going to be uh, going over that day or that week, whatever. Um, and then as well as pre reading that helps so much. For me, I used to try to go ahead and um, try to learn as much as I could without the help of the teacher. So that way, when I get to class, I would only have um, questions instead of actually trying to take in all new information. So it would just click way easier for me because it was more of a clarification rather than me being taught. Um, another thing, the second point I want to make is to take great notes. Now, by great notes, I don't mean good handwriting because my you guys should see my handwriting. It is not great. <laughs> but um, great notes, what I mean is take notes that fit you. Take notes that are going to be helpful um, for you later on when you go back and look over them. Don't just write down verbatim what he's saying or what she's saying, what the teacher's saying. Um, take notes that are a trigger, if you will. For me, I used to print out, um, if your teacher provides it, my teacher did, he would give us PowerPoints on the sections of um, everything we're covering. It would have the main points and everything like that and a breakdown. So I would get those notes, I would print them out on PowerPoint and I would uh, take those to class with me and kind of write in like acronyms that I can remember. Or he would give us tips that he used to use as a student and I would kind of jot those down as we go along in class. Um, next, I would say go ahead and record the lectures. So me, um, I don't know if you guys have iPhones or not, but if you don't try to get like a, a small recorder, get one for like $15, a cheap one, um, and use those and try to record every lecture that you can because for me, it helped tremendously to be able to go back and reference exactly what the teacher said instead of having to die trying to write down what he said verbatim like i said before take good notes um so recording lectures helped me when i didn't have anything to do or when i had downtime or on my way to work because i have a commute that's kind of far like 45 minutes i would just pop on um the recording from the lecture and i would go over that and listen to that and that helped beat it into my head it was like i, I would go to sleep dreaming about it basically <laughs> but um Recording the lecture definitely did help. Um, the next tip I would give you guys is to start a study group of um, not not anything too huge, but then again, you don't want to go too small because you want to bounce ideas off of a, um, a good amount of people, not too many people, like I said. Uh, I would say four to five people if you could, or three to five people if you could. Um, do that and kind of like formulate and like I said, bounce ideas off of each other, quiz each other if you can, and try to teach each other. That is something that I found extremely helpful is trying to teach. If you can teach something to somebody, then that means you know it. Bottom line, you know it. Um, another tip that I can give you guys is to study immediately after you get out of class. Um, that's what I would do. Like I said, my study group, a uh, group of four or five, most of the time it was, we would go into um, either the library or Starbucks or wherever you can go, grab our laptops, grab our notes for the day and kind of um, 
get like a whiteboard of some sort or a piece of paper and jot down really quick what we didn't understand, what we did understand, who got this, who got that. Um, kind of go over old tests, uh, what we did wrong, what we can do better. And um, that seemed to help all of us. We all ended up getting um, A's and B's in the class. Um, so yeah, other than that, I would say have a positive attitude because um, throughout not even just A and P, just the whole nursing process in, in general, um, from applications to T's tests to everything else, just make sure you have a good attitude. You don't want to go in um, drab or think you're going to fail because honestly, if that's, that's half the fight. If you think you're going to fail, you probably will fail. If you think you're going to pass, you probably will pass. So it's as simple as that. Um, it's a mindset thing. But yeah, you guys, uh, that and if you can try to get um, flashcards or make flashcards or um, color code things helps a lot as well. Um, and try to draw diagrams too. That helps a lot with the anatomy side of things. Um, with physiology, like I said, teaching each other. That's extremely helpful. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So just wanted to throw a quick video on YouTube. Um, if you guys want to, you can follow me on Instagram at nurse tries to be nurse T R I C E and then number two and then B B E. Uh, but yeah, check me out. Subscribe to YouTube. Like, comment below, and let me guys uh, let me know <laughs> if you guys want me to make another video about anything else, um, nursing related or otherwise. But yeah, uh, I'm out of here. Peace.